What up, this is your boy Throwback King, um, Albert, and I wanted to do this for you guys, man. I wanted to show you guys how Ebbet Fields Flannels uh, mails out your jerseys, man. This is something I've been waiting for almost three to four months. The only reason it took longer than normal, it's because uh, I had I found more information on a custom jersey, and I needed to change up some things that I wanted um, to them to do. So it, it took a little longer than normal, which I don't mind as long as they get it right. Get it right. So I just wanted. I made this video. I want to make this video so you can see how how it comes. Um, pause. How the how the packaging comes. So you get this box. This great box. Ebbet Fields flannels. You know you don't get this. You know no shots fired, but you don't get this big ass fucking fucking garbage bag with your jersey just thrown in there. They actually take the time to package it very well. As you're gonna see, I'm gonna. Un unbox it um they tape it very well so i normally takes a lot of uh how you call it cutting of the tape all the way around which is pretty dope i love it because it's secure comes in a box doesn't come in a poly bag which i can't stand i think that's one of the reasons some of so we get uh some damage on some jerseys so this is so when you get Evansville flannels this is how it comes, man. And I'm saying it for the first time with you guys, so a little nervous and excited at the same time. So here we go, man. So you get the unwrap it, and it comes, as you can see, it comes with, uh, trying to make some space here. It comes, they uh, wrap it in their paper, Ebbet Fields flannel paper. Whew. Man, so this is, if, if you've been uh, following me for a while, you probably guys are like, hurry up and fucking unbag it. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this is the Stars of Cuba jersey from 1906 or 19, 1910. Oh, man, it took a lot of research, a lot of time um, to get this jersey. And this is a one of one, man. A one of one jersey. Oof. <laughs> Do you see that Cuban flag? Ah. Oh. Yes. 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 So it comes wrapped, they fold it really nice, not thrown in a bag. And here it is, man. Oh, this thing is perfect. The size I wanted it on the chest, perfect. I know it's probably backwards or sideways, whatever. Yes, they absolutely killed it. This is what I wanted. See how big, look at the size of my hand, I got a big hand size of my hand is the, the flag is bigger than my hand so that's what i wanted to and on the side it should have the number six with the captain's patch well this is it's, it's crazy to have a jersey from 1910 with a jersey number because normally they didn't have jersey numbers and this one has a captain c he was the uh, i forgot his name is jose menendez i think it is uh he's in the hall of fame this guy's in the hall of fame and on the other side is a star another sleeve so i know i can't show you the the jersey fully but oh my god yo they absolutely killed it absolutely killed it there's like a little gap here which it says it looks like they just took panels they must have zoomed into the pictures and they did it in panels so this is not like one big flag so they took a, a square panel stitched it on a blue panel stitched it on white panel blue panel and they just stitched it on and it's okay man because this jersey is absolutely beautiful <sighs> so yeah man the captain c and it has that you know it's not purely white it's like a little bit of cream white jersey which is perfect and there it is hopefully yep size 2xl with the blue collar i mean with the red collar man so it's called the sun collar i see no name on the back and it buttons down it's a mid button it only buttons down to to here so yeah man i will be posting pictures and letting you guys know man thank you man i hope you get something out of this man